Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's nice to meet you uh, in our last examination type questions on uh, batteries and this one is written here as again question number 10, right? As you can see the question says batteries consist of one or more galvanic cells. A galvanic cell is a combination of two half cells. John wants to determine which one of options A or B shown below can be used to assemble a galvanic cell with the highest potential difference. Right, we have option A. We have a combination of half cells. Silver solid uh, as the electrode in silver nitrate aqueous solution and nickel solid in nickel nitrate aqueous solution. And we have magnesium solid in magnesium nitrate that is an option B and silver solid in silver nitrate aqueous solution. Then the question says, draw a fully labeled diagram of the galvanic cell that John can use to measure the potential difference for the cell in option B, right? Use a positive and a negative sign to indicate the positive and negative electrodes respectively, right? So we are required to draw a galvanic uh, cell for option uh, B, right? So what we have there is uh, for our option B, you are supposed to make sure that uh, we are having our two electrolytes, that is our magnesium nitrate aqueous solution, and we are also having our silver nitrate solution. And this one is our negative electrode. Remember the negative electrode itself in a galvanic cell is our anode and we have our magnesium uh, electrode dipped in magnesium nitrate as our anode and then we are it is connected to a silver electrode as you can see it is positively charged meaning to say that it is our cathode and it is dipped in a silver nitrate solution and they are being connected with uh, a salt bridge meaning to say that this one is a galvanic cell and again, we have a voltmeter there, which is in between our two electrodes. So that is what we have on our question 10.1. And then in question 10.2, it says, write a balanced chemical equation, excluding spectator ions for the net overall cell reaction for the galvanic cell in option B. So first of all, we are going to have our two half reactions. We are having our magnesium solid itself is being converted to magnesium uh, 2 plus. And then our silver solid itself is going to be converted to the silver ion. So let us just uh, write the two equations and see what's going on. So we are on question 10.2. So our oxidation reaction which is taking place there is our magnesium solid uh, is being uh, oxidized to magnesium 2 plus uh, aqueous ion plus the two electrons. And this one is an oxidation reaction which is actually taking place at the anode. Right? And secondly, we are having our, as you can see here, we are having a reduction uh, reaction which is taking place. We are having our silver solid and we are having a silver nitrate there. But now, in, the, in this particular case, we are having a reduction reaction which is taking place at the cathode, which means our silver ion in aqueous form is actually gaining an electron and then we are going to form our silver uh, solid. And this one we are saying it is a reduction uh, reaction and it is taking place at the cathode, right? So now uh, if we are going to actually uh, add uh, the two reactions, we are going to balance our electrons. So we're going to multiply equation number two by the half reaction on uh, that one for silver by two so at the end of the day we are going to have 
this one is multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 so consequently these two electrons are going to actually cancel and what are we going to be left with we are going to add now our reactions and what we are going to have now is we are going to have our magnesium solid plus our two silver aqueous ion will give us magnesium two plus aqueous ion plus two silver solid this one now is now taken as uh, a redox a reaction that is we have both oxidation and reduction taking place there so that one is our overall reaction so let us see on question 10.3 10.3 says calculate the initial potential difference that can be obtained under standard conditions for the galvanic cell in option uh, B. So how are we going to go about on this one? We see to it that uh, we are going to have our electrode potential, uh, the electrode potential of our cell itself is going to be equal to the electrode potential uh, at the cathode, right, minus the electrode potential of uh, the anode, right? The electrode potential of our cathode itself, as we can actually see, is this one for silver. We, uh, if we are going to look on our electrode potentials, uh, that one for, for silver uh, itself is actually going to give us plus... 0, uh, 0,8 so this one is plus 0 0.80 volts minus the electrode potential of our anode that one for magnesium to magnesium uh, to plus we see to it that that one is going to be minus uh, 2,37 uh, volts right uh, it is actually minus 2,37 uh, minus 2,37 volts if we're going to look uh, closely so at the end of the day our electrode potential uh, of our cell is going to be equal to uh, 3.17 uh, volts. Why? Because we are going to actually add here because a minus minus will give us a positive. So we're going to get 0 0.80 plus 2,37 and then we're going to get 3,17 uh, volts. Right? Or alternatively, what we are going to have is uh, since the electrode potential for this particular reaction for magnesium being converted to magnesium uh, 2 plus it will give us plus uh, 2 comma uh, uh, 3 7 that is the electrode potential uh, for this particular for this particular half cell uh, 